self-sabotage. It's an interesting one in self-sabotage. I've seen this quite a few times. You know, sometimes you have to ask yourself, do I really want to lose weight or do I want to get healthy? It doesn't have to be about weight loss. This is, I'm focusing to talk about weight loss, but it could be just equally, I want to feel better. But if we're sabotaging something, so I'm doing this and I know it works and it really, and it's not a fad, you know, something silly where my body's saying, what are you doing? I'm, my willpower goes up. If we keep breaking that cycle, maybe ask yourself, is there a reason why you're not really dealing with it? Are you just procrastinating? Do you not want to do that? You know, is there some holding us back? And there's often deep-seated reasons behind that. And if we deal with that, yeah, it could just be a case of having a, a, better, a better opinion of ourselves. You know, in, in this country, we kind of frown upon if we say, you know, I love myself. It's not, it's sort of, people think you're an idiot. You know? But if we haven't got a healthy respect for ourselves, then why would we make positive changes? We often go back to our old routines. And then what happens is, is, you know, Every 20 odd things become more important than looking after yourself. No, I see that a lot. Okay. Ingrained beliefs. Um, sometimes I found it easier to work with people that are less, have no idea of, at all about nutrition. They just sort of like, tell me what's good, tell me what's bad, do you read something, cool. <coughs> Actually, I find that really easy work. You kind of go, this is good, that's bad, and this is why, and this, if you do more of this, you get used to it, and it becomes a system. But, you know, if we've got the belief in our head that dieting is the only way to lose weight, if we hold on to that belief, then we will self-sabotage and we'll go back to patterns. Now, any change you make, if you take one or two things from this talk, be positive, then build something else. You know, some people are in a situation where they can make loads of changes straight away, great, good for them. Some people have to do things slow and steady. It's not to make yourself feel bad. The more you can add over time, the better. Again, the fear that fats and cholesterol and fats and calories are the enemy. Again, it's a myth, and if we hold on to that belief and we constantly count calories and we don't let go of that belief, then it's very hard to move forwards. Another one is where we just sort of have a bit of a go at ourselves and said, my diet failed because I don't have enough willpower. Again, I'm not talking about someone who deliberately self-sabotages, but you know, if you've done a diet and you've been dieting 50 times and you have lost some weight, you're not a person who lacks willpower. With respect, you're a person who's putting willpower into the wrong efforts. You're putting this cool on thing like right, mowing gravel, you, you're working hard for nothing. So that's not a person who lacks willpower. And unfortunately, I see this a lot. People go, oh no, I just can't do it, I'm useless, I'm this, I'm that. I go, don't call me that. But, um, and I say, look, you've worked really hard, you've just been unfortunate, you've been given the wrong information. 